Here he comes, he's gonna jump. Woo! Got one, one, one. Okay. Woo! Stripey. Stripey. He's curled. Cool. Yes. Right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good work, Mel. Good work, Mel. Good work, Mel. Good work, good work, good work, good work. Right, stop whining. Pull back one, Mel. Maybe's in gear, Jay. Maybe's moving forward. Yeah, I am. So I'll just stand behind yeah, you, is yeah, that yeah. good? Yeah, yeah, just stand. Get ready in case it goes. If, if it goes, Lee's going to let it go and you've got to brace, okay? Okay. okay. Today our job is to help an angler catch her dream fish. For a long time, Melanie has wanted to catch a mahi-mahi or dolphin fish. And today with the talented Jason Hedges and his crew, we've got one day to get the job done. Let us do it. Today I'm playing the middleman, bringing Melanie on board with Jason and his decky Lee. Melanie found her way to the show as a BCF club member. She's a part-time model who absolutely loves her fishing and is always up for catching a new species of fish. The upside is that today there's the potential for Mel to also catch another first in the way of a marlin. So plan for today, we've got a uh, dolphin fish on the brain. Uh, normally it's bycatch dolphin fish chasing marlin, but today it's going to be a uh, bycatch marlin chasing dolphin fish. So we're going to start off, have a look at the inshore grounds, find some current. If there's none out there, we're just going to head straight out the heavy tackle grounds. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed we did all right. Today we're fishing in the waters off Australia's east coast in northern New South Wales. There have been a few reports of fish about. Expectations are running high and it's time to prepare Melanie for the battle at hand. All right, Mel, so today, because we're fishing the heavy tackle, big rods, big gear, we're going to need to strap into a harness just to um, help support the weight of the reel. Heavy tackle trolling for game fish is a tough affair, and tools like the harness make the job of landing big fish possible. Mel is starting to get the idea that this could be a tough gig. Tell me, Mel, why the fascination in the dolphin fish? I just love the colours of them, so the gold, the fluorescent greens and blues. Um, they hang out in school in schools of about 20 fish, so they're surface dwellers, so to me that's really interesting. And yeah, I just love to catch one. Well, we're in the right spot. We sure Apparently are. Be a pretty good skipper. See how we go. We're in good hands. Trolling lures for game fish is a precise skill. Teasers are put in to inspire fish to feed, and lures are carefully placed at specific distances behind the boat, and then attached to riggers to pull the lures outwards and away from the wash of the engines. Then it becomes a waiting game. There's a lot that has to come together to help someone catch a fish. You've got to align the availabilities of the crew, the weather, and the fish, and this is the bit where the pressure starts to mount. Melanie works in real estate and has little time off, and Jason is heavily booked with charters. To get these groups together with the weather being good is a one in a hundred shot, so we have to make it count. The pressure mounts as the time ticks on when a playing pot of dolphins manages to take our minds off the lack of bites we've had so far. Yep. Righto. This is where it all goes. It's a little bit of chaos for a moment and then we all get relaxed and we start. Glad trying to get this fish back. Hours of waiting and suddenly we're on. I'm right, take a little bit of water for you. Okay. Now Got quick down on the top, yep. Yep. Okay, you good? So pull. That's it. And wind. Wind down there. That's it. Yeah. So the key's yeah. not to use your arms now. Nice. Good work, Mel. <laughs> How you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. This, this is the go. This is another bucket list fish for Mel. Wanted mahi mahi and has never caught a marlin, and this is definitely a marlin. Uh, one, 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 one. Keep, keep. One, 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 one. One. Stop. Keep one, 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 one. That's it. Get. One, one, one. As fast as you can, Mel. This is where the hard work begins. That's it. One, 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 one. I know you're getting tired. This is a bit where it's really easy for everyone else in the boat to say, 
wide, 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 but I know what those arms are feeling like right now. They're getting a little bit hot and a little bit low on energy. Melanie has quickly found these fish are heavy, and with the adrenaline flowing, the arms are starting to burn, and winding is becoming very hard. Oh, excitement. A little bit puffed, but this is awesome. And what you wait till you see them boat side, that's where the real excitement begins, when you suddenly get to see, up close and personal, what you're up with. Good job, kick going. That's the way. Jeez, this is bloody good. Yeah, I know. I told you it was going to be hard work, this bit. You just got to fight through it. It's like, this is a bit like marathon running this. You got to fight through it, and you just got to hope this fish stays connected. Yeah, but this fish is a fair bit heavier than you are, so. Yeah. That's it, good, good, excellent, good. Good, it's about mechanics now, hey? Yeah, you just got to settle into a routine of it, good. Excellent. Good. Okay, get ready to wind. Ready okay. to wind, Emil. Yep. Good. 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 Just going to guide the line. Okay. Use those hips. That's it. Got another marlin sitting in with. Get this other one. This two. It's a good sign. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Starting to get angry now. This is. This is. This is good, Mel. This is. You know. You're starting to win when they're coming up. Go. Oh. Yep, that's it. Make your line, make your line, make your line, make your line, make your line. Good work, good work. Okay, the end's in sight now. The end is in sight. He's coming up, he might jump here. Here he comes, he's gonna jump. Woo! Go, one, one, one. Woo! Strivey. He's hell. Yes. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good work, Mel. Good work, Mel. Good work, Mel. Work, 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 work. Stop lining. Pull back one now. Baby's in gear, Dave. Baby's moving forward. Yeah, I am. So I'll just stand behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stand. Get ready in case it goes. If, if it goes, Lee's going to let it go and you've got to brace, okay? Okay. You right, Lee? Yes, tag. Tag is in. Tag's in. Good work, boys. Yeah, Mel. Oh my God, he's so cool. <laughs> yes. Mel has oh a bucket God. list fish that is off amazing. the list. How was that? That was really intense, but definitely worth it. That you was did great. so, so well, because I know how much they hurt. Now amazing. you get to grab it and let it go, and then we'll see what else we can catch. Let's do it. Yes. See you, buddy. Wow, that is every angler's dream to catch a fish like that. What a trophy fish. I'm so stoked, this is amazing. Woo! To chase dolphin fish and marlin today, we're using these skirted lures and they're great imitations, the type of bait that these fish will chase. Dolphin fish are opportunistic, they'll eat a big bait, so too will the marlin. We control them quick, they put a big commotion in the water. That's the kind of lure that'll get the job done. Everyone is pumped and now a little more relaxed that a bucket list fish has been ticked off. Our attention now turns to Mahi Mahi and lines are quickly reset and lures put back into action. Mel, real estate by weekday and your time off, what do you do? Um, I go kayak fishing, so um, we go up some creeks and we look for mangrove jacks, so we have our little setup and we go out for the day. Um, we also try and get some flathead as well. And yeah, that's about it. So in the scheme of your working life, what does fishing mean to you? Um, I love that fishing's so peaceful. Um, the thrill of the catch, not knowing what you're gonna get. And yeah, just, just love being out on the water. Yeah, yeah, come up on the teaser now. Yeah, you ready? Come in for a look on the teaser. Yeah. There he is, he's on the teaser. That's a belly! It's a blow, it's a blow. He's on the lower. He's on the lower. Eat it, eat it. Oh, there. He's in the way. There he comes, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. There he is. He's in the way. Here he comes, he's on the lure now. He's about to eat that lower corner. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, come on. Got a marlin roaring on the teaser. We're all sitting there coaxing him onto a lure and he hasn't. He's sitting and cruising around the wash at the moment. What Jace is going to do now is try and keep him in that clean water and see if we can get him to eat one of these lures. That's a blue, that's a blue! He's coming, he's coming! Look at him, right handing! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh yes! 
Welcome to Blueville. They are crazy fish. Look at the speed of this thing going over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 it's at this point the skipper and crew go into overdrive, trying to organise lines while keeping a big fish hooked. One, just one. Stay down and one. Just one as fast as you can. Just one, 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 one. That's it. That's it. I got you. We've got a big belly in the line. We've got to get that out right now. Oh, no, 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 no. This is where it can go pear shaped really quickly. Okay, wind. You've got to wind. I know your arms are burning. You've got to wind. Come, Come on, Mel. Come on. It's going, it's going pretty deep. Jace, he's going deep. It does burn. A lot of marathon runners will be familiar with this feeling that Mel's yeah. going right now. It's when you want your limbs to work and they're going, I don't feel like working and they are burning like there is no tomorrow. Right. You're doing well. Back in the harness. I just don't think I'm strong enough. No, uh, no, you are, you are, you are. Melanie is doing so well because I've seen plenty of big strong lads start complaining about arm pain at this point. I'll give her credit, she's no quitter. Come on, you're doing well. Doing, just relax. Yeah, relax. I'm too excited. Yeah, relax. Just relax. We got weight. We got weight. Yeah. And then we fear the worst. That sinking feeling when the weight of a fish disappears. Bye. I guess it's gone. I guess it's gone, Jace. Ah. Mel puts on a brave face, but I know how much it hurts to lose a fish like that. You can only hope you get the chance to hook another one. That's a little bit gut wrenching. You're right. Yeah. It's a heartbreaking fishy. Wow. What a fish. Oh, oh, the joys of fishing. My goodness. How did that feel to be connected to your first blue marlin? That was amazing. He was tough, that's for sure. Heartbreaking. It's, you, had a, you did all the right things. It's hard to fathom that a fish can jump that much and run that hard and the hook stays in and the moment you're tight and deep, it falls out. Couldn't believe it. No rhyme or reason, Good just right. keep trying. That's right. There's another one here. I reckon we're in the right spot. That is. We got it. That's the good news. The moment we're targeting this somewhat elusive dolphin fish along the edges of currents. They live in the top of the water and they survive around the edge of surface structures. In fact, they hardly ever dive deeper than five meters and they spend those few years that they're alive breeding continuously, eating and trying to stay alive. Mahi Mahi are opportunistic feeders and eat anything from small fish, squid to small tuna. Whatever fits into their sizable mouth is fair game for these speedsters. And as they patrol the waters feeding, they spawn continuously along ocean current lines, meaning their young are spread far and wide. get the gear in. It's a dolphin fish. It's a pretty Woo! good one too. It's a pretty good one. Go, go Mel. You're gonna have to wind. One of the better tasting pelagic fish in the ocean and if we catch this one, if we've got to catch it yet, then it could be dinner. Go hard Mel. Skipper's, skipper's barking at you. That's it, wind. Woo! Keep her in gear slightly man, just to maybe increase that tension because Mel's struggling with the arm speed. Keep going. We're nearly there. <laughs> These fish that jump are jumping to try and get what they think stuck in their mouth out, and that's when you can lose them. So we want to get this fish in the boat before it okay. does too many of the aerial antics. As much as it's fun to watch, that's when they get off. Let's see the skirt. Keep going. Here we go. Here we go. I can see it. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Wow. That's the stuff. Beautiful. Look at the colours on that. Ready, Lee? <laughs> yes! We did it. Two off the bucket list. I oh. say thank you to the skipper for that. He's managed to find thank the fish. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Lee's done all the work. There's a fair bit of work clearing all these rods. I don't yeah. think I'd want to be a decky on your boat. I just thought I'd let these go that time. <laughs> 
There's a bit of work involved and you've got two fish off your bucket list. Yep, pretty happy with that. And the mahi-mahi, which we will have a look at in a minute. What we've done yeah. is they go really, really crazy when they come to the boat, so we put it into the airski just to relax a little bit and then we're going to show you a closer look in just a second. Oh, there you go, Mel. Get a hold of that. This is what you came all the way out today. And Fantastic. What a gorgeous looking fish. That's a mahi mahi, also known as a dolphin fish, also a dorado, which gets a name because it gets this beautiful golden colour to mix in with that iridescent blue. One of the fastest growing fish in the ocean. Eight kilos in the first year. They don't live much past five years, that's the limit. And in that time, they can get up to two metres and 20 odd kilos. So, what a splendid fish. Dolphin fish can be found throughout the world in temperate tropical to subtropical oceans. They frequent Aussie waters from the top all the way down to Victoria, with the odd one showing up in Tasmania. Jason's just spotted a really big arch come through the sounder, 20 metres down. That's the kind of fish that we could raise here. On the short corner, short corner. There he is. There he is. Yes! Yes! Wow. Harness, with the harness. That was awesome to watch. Big marlins come flying in the spread and smash that short lure. Listen to him go. Okay, go. Okay. That is a lot of line. So you in? You in? I'm in. You ready? Coming at us. Coming, at us. Coming, Hedges. Coming at us. Still there? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The wine. Yep. All the gear's clear. Wine, Mel. Wine, use your hips and wine. Use your hips and wine. <laughs> huh? Okay, line's tight. Line's real tight. Lean, lean, use the rod now. Lean the rod. Yeah, you're right. Go, yeah. wine, 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 wine. This is it. This is a blue. This is one of the fish we wanted. Come on. Go, Mel. Go. I know you're hurting. It hurts, but this fish is worth it. This fish is absolutely worth it. You're doing a great job, dude. Such a good job. Excellent. Keep going. Wide, 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 wide. Wide, 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 wide. I got you, I got you. Yeah, here we go. You good? Yeah. You good? This is a critical stage now. Mel's tied. Fish is sitting high. We've really got to work hard here. Uh, Mel is burning now. If you haven't done this before, there's a lot of work goes in. There's heavy gear, and every part of your body's screaming at you. She's doing well. Yeah. Wine, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Still coming, he's still coming. Oh, he's gone, eh? Ah! Bummer! Oh. So much work. Oh, so much work. It's a frustrating game, this marlin fishing. Mel did so well then. These fish have immense power. To pull 10 kilos of drag like that and then sit in the current, she's not the biggest person in the world. She's got to put all that weight against this fish and try and get it back when your arms just don't want to wind. She did well. I reckon the next one could be it. Blue marlin are one of the biggest fish in the ocean. The speed with which they run when hooked is mind-blowing, and to hook and lose one is always gut-wrenching, particularly when it's a second in a matter of hours. The crew is understandably disappointed, and hope of hooking another one gradually fades. No, I think the skipper has called it, Mel, and what a day you've ticked. Two big fish off the bucket list, you've got your marlin, you've got your mahi and you've learnt the pleasure and the pain of blue marlin fishing. I'd say you got another yeah. one on the bucket list. Oh, definitely. It was the best experience. Absolutely loved it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for coming on the fishing show. Thank you. I'll see you on the water somewhere else. I love being present to watch anglers catch first time captures. And Mel's excitement at tangling with marlin and dolphin fish did not disappoint. She was an absolute trooper trying to wrangle four big fish on heavy tackle in one day, a feat most mates of mine would balk at. The visions of those dancing marlin will stay with her for a long time to come. 
And if you want to crack at one of these fish, jump on board with Jason Hedges and his crew at Unleashed Sport Fishing Adventures.